offensive rebounding, effort plays. They were ahead of us in everything that has to do with intensity, effort, and competitiveness. Specifically in the second quarter. So the game kind of got away from us. After that, we were chasing, never strung together enough stops in order to really make a, a real push. As a coach, how tough is it when you see that second quarter and as you hear some of the stuff you're saying on the sidelines, just to try and reverse that the way things are going during that time? Yeah, we were a little bit limited with the tools that we had. Um, fouls, early fouls in the first half kind of impacted the level of rotations and things that we could do to to change the complexion of that quarter, but we obviously played poorly. Uh, we didn't respond to things that we knew were coming, and this is on us. And Anthony, you got in foul trouble very early on. Um, how tough was it? And especially when you're, you were out there with one four fouls and still you're trying to contribute, and you managed to slump for quite a while. Especially with that yeah, um, a couple of my fouls were for uh, cheap ones by me. I got a little better technique, but those made the other ones harder to, to take on, put me in a little bind, uh, especially in the third quarter, trying to get stops. Uh, made it a little harder to be physical, so it's something I'll clean up myself. It's my responsibility. How do you feel about tonight? Um, it's tough, man. Uh, it's especially hard for me not being able to be out there with my team as much as I wanted to, and I know I'm a big part of the offense and the defense of what we need to do and what we need to get done, so it felt hard. I felt like our composure was a, a little rushed, a little a little out of space. It, did, it was a little bit forced with their press, but also I feel just us in general not attacking in the way we wanted to, how we practice. I think being able to find a way to get that composure back would have settled us down very, very quickly and would have got us back to the way we wanted to play. And, um, do you feel, I mean, you had, you had a week since the last game to, to sort of, I guess, you had lots of time training where you were sort of hoping that some of those things would kind of come into effect tonight? Yes. So what, what did you do after this? Go to work. Chris, have you got any questions? Yeah, yeah sure. Um, Marty, a couple of, th couple of things are now becoming sort of an ongoing trend. One of them is the, the foul differential that again was against you, and I'm not silly enough to, to ask you about that, but, <laughs> but the rebounding is an ongoing concern. What can you do to fix the, the rebounding problem? The rebounding problem is going to get fixed. That's it. It's going to get fixed. That's all we need to talk about. It It will be fixed. I promise you that. That's an anti lamp guarantee. That's what I need to do. <laughs> How do you make that happen, Anthony? How, work. How practice. Do you, you got to practice. You got to drill it. You got to work on it. Work on it like it's everything you want in your life. Work on it it's like you're trying to take somebody out to dinner and treat them nice. You work on your rebounding like you care about your kids. That's how you work on it. That's what we're going to do. It sounds like it's just something as a group you're frustrated by. When you look at the numbers, and it's, I think it's 60 rebounds for 34, 25 offensive rebounds for them. Is that the biggest thing for you as a playing group out of this game? Yes, for sure. Clean that up. That cleans up most of their possessions. Most of their, most of their possessions died. We got we would get great stops if we clean up those rebounds. As a coach, how good is it knowing that the playing group's taking responsibility for that? Modi and they know what to do, and it sounds like they're promising to fix it. How, how good for you as a coach is it? To hear it means nothing. To see it happen means a lot. Let's see action. <laughs> Fair to say you hope it is a lot better now next week. I mean, would you would you expect the playing group to fix it now for next week? I trust this team very much. We're all very disappointed with the effort that we put forth today, specifically on the glass. I have no doubt that this locker room will respond and do better. And taking ownership is the first step. We well, couldn't hear you. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Thank, Thank you. you.